Hello everybody, hope you're doing well today. Today we are checking out more of the new weapons in the Arsenal update and are on the hunt for a boomerang. It's another crit based weapon so I wanted to play some ranger for my first couple of runs with it. We chose kunai to start off until we found ourselves a boomerang. Admittedly, kunai does not do that well unless it's blue and above because those blue affixes really, really shine on the kunai. And you know, it's just not the greatest thing for the first area, the canyons, but I love using it so I took it and you know, we're planning on ditching whatever weapon we were picking anyways in favor of a boomerang, so might as well choose the one I like. Alrighty. armor by 12% taking damage yeah no I don't like that one that one's ideally you don't want to get hit so like I'm okay with not getting hit uh, we're going to take Tommy's gun because that's gonna be better than the kunai for the starting stages oh well good thing I traded out my shovel and then spotted the dig site official ferocity wild rush nasty mirage oh nasty mirage could with the new summons thing, Nasty Mirage could be pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to re-roll again, uh, because we have Beastial Ferocity, and we like Beastial Ferocity, so we're going to keep it going. Let's see here. Ice Cream could be good. Bull. We take Bull over Ice Cream. Unfortunate that I have to pass up Ice Cream for that, but... Candle was redone. Now it doesn't increase explosive damage. It got nerfed. It only does burn damage now. That's a real shame. You hate to see it. Really hate to see it. Um, I guess we can roll damage onto this. Since we do increase burn damage now. There we go. Big Mad and Eraser. We just got full, so Eraser's going to be great. Let's see if we can get any new items in Oasis. I wish they would have listed the rarity of the items in the patch notes. Finding bull this early on is a big deal because marking a target increases the damage it takes by 50%. This not only helps us clear the early game when we don't have our build online, but it also helps to narrow down our perk choices since we don't need to invest in marking capabilities through perks. Quick trigger, again, if we get boomerang, that'd be fun, but increased crit damage is great. Hitting an enemy with javelin reduces stealth, that's also great. A big tack throw. Because, I mean, stealth is stealth. Get bestial ferocity, and then we get shadow strike. Everything just kind of comes together, you know? I love Ranger. I love Ranger so much. You want to go to the library this week, either today or tomorrow, because weather's nice? Yeah, we can do that. Every weapon so far is the missile battery. Yeah, I didn't really like it in that last run, but that wasn't really a fair run to compare it. Uh, I guess we can do roller. No, I don't really care for roller. We'll take bottle cap. At the time of recording, I didn't know what rarity all the new items that were added to the game were, so I went to Oasis in the hopes of finding them. I believe the Transformer toy is the only new item added that is fantastic rarity, but we don't really care about that for this run. Had I known all the items ahead of time, I would have gone ruins for the free skill point and chance at a good purple weapon, because Oasis is somewhere I usually go whenever I'm going for an elemental oh, wait, run, because you can upgrade BuddyBot for a boost, or an ability only run so I can upgrade my starter pistol for extra ability damage. Woo! 
bestial ferocity moment. You sure do love Tommy's. Oh, uh, it's boomerang, boomerang, come back to me. Having an enemy drop a desired weapon is rarer than a medium well stake at Outback Steakhouse. Just kidding, I love Outback, but last time I went with my family, they just couldn't do anything but make rare steaks. They must have hired a new cook at my location, and unless the choice was between that guy and literal roadkill with a spatula, he should not have been hired. Yeah, that guaranteed crit is phenomenal. So anyways, the boomerang is awesome, because its unique trait is that it hits enemies twice, and it always crits on the returning hit making for some really fun damage scenarios when you gauge the distance just right. Oh my lordy that cooks. Also, I think that's a junk beam? Yeah, it is a junk beam. You try out the new junk beam. Uh, I don't think I'm really going to try it out. <laughs> Take it back. Take it back. Oh, here's a new one. Transformer toy. Summons a combat drone that fights alongside you. That is interesting, and I'm going to take it because it's new. Look at this little guy. Transformer toy. Mentioning the weather a little while ago, I got really heavy rain for about 20 seconds, and then got back to clear skies. Yeah, we've been in, like, torrential rain. You know, we're basically in the rainy season for Persona right now. Honestly, I like the rain. Wish I hadn't last 20 seconds. Rain's cool when it's not oppressive. Oh my god, that's nice. Let's go. Guys, I think I love the boomerang. Boomerang's feeling pretty good right now, I'm not gonna lie. Well, that rover just made it all the way, by the way. I didn't kill it, and I'm ashamed. Favorite weapon, simple geometry, critical damage, ricochets on one enemy within nine meters. Yeah, I could take that, or I could just take favorite I'm gonna, I'm gonna take favorite weapon. I think I'm gonna do it. Yep. I'm gonna do it. Boomerang moment. Get shadow strike up in here. Uh, okay, I can do. I can do that. I can make a burn javelin. Sure. Why not? I'm gonna have to get used to not firing at my own uh, friendly, like, bot, though. Uh, swapping weapon. We can't swap weapons, so. No, that's trash. Sling gun! Um, we're not gonna try it out, because we have a really good boomerang right now and favorite weapon. Ooh, coffee mug and strawberries? We take both of these. For sure, take both of these. And it has velocity, which is another reason it's so good, because this has really fast attack speed. Huh. I'm gonna see William. Really wonder. You and I should have a word.
God, this thing is awesome, though. Already. Card unlocked. <laughs> Coffee mug is just a phenomenal item, in my opinion, especially for only being green rarity. But strawberries is actually really fun for boomerang because it basically means that if our outgoing throw scores a critical hit, we get that strawberries proc guaranteed on the projectile's return. I really like the creativity and uniqueness behind these arsenal weapons. They can lead to some really fun builds and have great interactions with some of these items. Yeah, we like boomerang around these parts, <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Uh, against Goliaths and bosses. Hmm. Reroll the affixes on it, at least. I'm about to fight a boss. We'll do that. We'll do it. We'll check it out. Ricochet probably pairs quite well with Boomerang. Maybe. I. We'd have to see how the interaction would be. Because, like, would it send a full boomerang out that also returns? Because, yeah, that could be really good for ad clear for Ricochet. But something tells me that's not how it actually works. Wow. That was a cook. That was a cook right there. Sensing a boomerang only run coming up. Well, I mean, that's basically what I'm doing right now. Yeah, I love it. I love it. And let's just get more fire rate on it. Homemade ammo. We could do homemade ammo as well. The fire rate, though. Drop on cut marks. Yep, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll take it. Well, let's take a look around first. Yeah, okay. Drop on cut marks. That's a huge magnet change, in my opinion. Now, because the boomerang has such a low magazine size, fire rate can actually sometimes work against it because you'll spend more time reloading than you will actually firing the weapon, in this case throwing our boomerang. So homemade ammo would have been the play if we didn't take favorite weapon. Now, it still might have been the right play there, but I do like firing rate and because we have homemade weapon, we can reload way faster. Once I get my hands on Shadow Strike, man, it's over. Fun fact for anyone curious, but fields got easier with the arsenal update because the goliath that guards the checkpoint was downgraded to a lesser version because the one that was guarding it before was kind of gatekeeping newer players. Either way, if you struggled with that guy in fields because your build wasn't online, rejoice knowing that he will be easier from now on because he is a lesser version of that same goliath. Yoink. What do we got here? Sponge, increase shock damage by 20%, but can no longer stun. And we have the rapier. That's a purple rapier. That's a really, really pretty rapier, honestly. Oh man, I really want to take it. I should have chosen favorite weapon. I knew I was going to be trying out the new weapons. You know what? We're going to grab Sponge. I'm so committed to the boomerang right now. I'm so committed to the boomerang. I'm sorry. I'm not swapping off. Now, if memory serves me right, this is the Goliath that got nerfed. I think it's got turned into a lesser version of itself, essentially. Uh, there was a harder one blocking this. If I am wrong, though, and it ends up being the one guarding the energy labs, let me know in the comments below, please. Well, if we find a shuriken or just kind of like casually perish. I 
Do we need ricochet boomerang for science? I don't know. Does this thing count as melee damage? No. Pierce and reversal. Okay. Do popcorn. I don't think this thing is gonna do good for killing the bots in Doom Garden. Like, do we skip? I think we just skip Doom Garden, fellas. I'll grab popcorn though. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, these poor guys. That's not the room I thought it was. Oh, okay. Back off a little bit. Yeah, the fact that I can just kind of like delete that guy's shield is pretty funny too. I can just kind of throw the boomerang through him and the shield just doesn't matter anymore. I like that, that's pretty funny. There we go. Got three rerolls on it. There's not much cost to sciencing. There's the time investment. Okay, just casual spare head. We'll take that. I'm sorry, did I get okay for me I thought I got like two ram shotguns or something. Hey Igor, how you doing? Then, because it does great single target damage with guaranteed cricks, it's basically two kills for the price of one. Hold on. There's all shock damage, melee and javelin. Melee and javelin's probably pretty good here. Um, Shadow Strike, there we have it. There we have it, folks. What do you want me to get? You want me not to have velocity because you hate me? Is that it? Put free wheel back on. I don't think it even rolls with Ricochet. Seems like it has a very limited perk pool. Well, free wheel it is. Bob, you couldn't spot me for a little bit, bro? You couldn't just buff me out a little bit? Yeah, we were a little under leveled before. <laughs> that is no longer the case, and it is noticeably stronger. Wow, this thing is nutty.
Okay. Let me get that other perk again. I can try it. I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want simple geometry, fellas. Because, uh, I don't even... The reason I don't care about Ricochet is because I just... I don't really care about Ad Clear too much. I like to focus on, uh, killing bosses. Because you don't really get any Ad Clear in bosses. I'm pretty sure the only boss fight in the entire game that has, like, ads you can kill is Mystico, right? I guess Iris is little mini turrets, but like it's not like the ricochet is really gonna help you too much in that scenario. Because like you don't even really want to focus those, you just want to focus on the, the damage instead. Ooh. tough room, honestly. That was a pretty tough room. Increases hero cape damage by your bonus armor. Well, those chestnut. Let's take that. Add it to the compendium. Piece of cake. Top of mushroom. Shark sniper. Shark sniper got a pretty massive buff. Well, not massive, but a buff. Yep. We're gonna take chili pepper. We're taking the chili pepper, fellas. Uh. Okay. I guess we'll do shock. Shock could kill us. Uh, you know what? Fire. Bring me to the fire room. Let me add it. Let me add him. Poppy too. Well, I don't. I definitely do not want Poppy. Ten percent. Yes, we take. Oh my god, no, 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 not like this. Not the flamethrowers, man. Chill. All right, get them out of here. I think, that's, I think that's the lot of them. Such a small, close quarters area for us to be fighting the fire, all right? Does my transformer toy actually do anything? Homie just kind of floats around. Does he even shoot? I don't know. I'm excited. I, ooh, maybe we do a summoner build after this. Maybe we actually try the summons. What a unfortunate way to lose our spare head.
Okay. Missile battery seems really nice with Commando. Yeah, I'm excited to try out the missile battery with Commando. I'm here, big boy. Oh. Yeah, these things were just kind of deleting Judge Ball. Boomerang is definitely a great weapon. Oh, oh. That's nice. Do, 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 do. Is it just guns or is there more stuff? There's a lot more stuff. You can check out my video on it if you want to see everything, by the way, uh, Texan. I just uploaded a video a few minutes ago. Your shadow strike damage. Let's get it. Oh, yeah, that's a tough call. I mean, I think we take Thimble, but it hurts to give up Ugly Tie like that. Take Viking Helmet. Uh, yeah, let's grab Viking Helmet. Let's go. Uh, cooking is fun, and this weapon cooks. One thing I'm curious about is I want to know if, I want to know if the uh, the B gun I want to know if its bees count as summons. Be cooked this guy. Ooh, hold on. I deal with the ads first. Okay, let's see here. Supreme crit. Yeah, supreme crit, of course. Uh, that was fast. That was a fast kill. Just fast indeed. Dude, it just kills so fast. Oh my. You'll love to see it. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, don't really care for any of those. I will absolutely be buying these cards though. Thank you.
that stung a little bit. Ouch. Tiny bit painful, but we'll get through it. All right, every, nope. Increased crit, auto crit chance. Auto crit could be nice, we'll take that. What do we have? Oh, the shuriken, but we also have bow tie. Oh, no. I'm sad. I'm sad, no. It is 10% auto crit chance and plus 75% increased crit damage, but it has no critical multiplier? What? No crit multiplier, huh? Seems a bit weird. Guys, I'm I, I'm so sad. I think we have to take bow tie here. <laughs> That's tragic. Next run, yeah. Hopefully, I can find a better uh, boomerang. Though I just realized I only have one like actual perk on this. A mammoth minigun with shock and buckshot. Tragic. That could have been so good. Cucumber. I'll take cucumber. Oh, so after rarity with Willy. Yeah, it's 10 power cells though. And the thing about upping the rarity is I don't know I don't know how the affixes are gonna change. Because here's the thing, this is a bad roll on a blue. Because I don't have any green affixes, I only have a singular blue affix. Like it's a it's a really bad roll. You know what I mean? So like if I upgrade it, if it only adds one affix, that's still a pretty expensive and terrible weapon. Grab the power cells. Damn. Okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Ball and chain. This is what I was curious about. Increases grappling hook damage by 350%, but increases its cooldown by four seconds. That seems absurd. Like, that cooldown hurts. And I don't know if 350% is going to be enough, in all honesty. Do we try it? I mean, I think for the sake of science, we try it. Hey, Steampunk, what have they added? They added a bunch of stuff. Uh, a bunch of weapons, new NPCs, some new affixes, really cool stuff. Just upgraded a green weapon that had three green prefixes and it's now blue with two green and one blue. Okay, so that's seems interesting uh i don't know if that's really good or not all right let's try it let's try the new grappling hook oh my god i'm able to one i'm, I'm able to one shot trash mobs let's go look at that cooldown though that is a brutal cooldown that's like a nine second cooldown on grappling hook now kind of crazy if you think about it Yeah, nine seconds is horrendous. I don't think I'd ever grab this just because my movement is so severely hampered by it. It did like half hit that elite though. So it's interesting at the very at the very minimum. It has build potential, I think.
Heavy block. With Junk Beam. That's funny. It's kind of like they just want me to use that. Power Cell. Yeah, no, this is a this is a trip right here. I don't even know what to expect. My brain is barely functioning, by the way. I I seriously am operating on like 30 minutes of sleep for the past 36 hours. It's it's crazy out here. <laughs> Everything, nothing makes sense to me right now. Hey, thank you for the follow, Fudzy. I appreciate you. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. We can, I guess this, yeah, we can, we can grab that, sure. Let's grab that. Wowzers. There's just so many different weapons I want to try out. Fallen Chain might be for a rapier build? Makes you say that. Definitely not Ocarina. Let's grab the power cell. You're not taking that one? Yeah, no, that's fair. I mean, uh... It definitely... Nine seconds is definitely a bit extreme. Nine second cooldown is a bit extreme, yeah. But yeah, it almost feels like they added this with the intention of adding another item too, but maybe we'll see... Maybe we'll see an item that helps, yeah, like you said, reset grapple cooldowns on kills or something like that. save my power cells for the moon just in case we can either upgrade You're gonna take your lunch Emily okay sounds good Curious to see how much the grapple hook does to like a boss. Look at his health bar. So I'm not gonna pay attention. I don't know how much that did. Okay, reload speed would be nice here. Yeah, more reload speed on this thing, honestly. Nothing crazy? Yeah, I, I'll probably never take it. Rapier and hypothetical grapple refresh and just zoom across the map while trying things. How would you get a hype? What do you mean hypothetical grapple refresh? Where would, where would we get that from? Like a the- Oh, I guess it's a hypothetical, not a theoretical. Never mind. Keep in mind, you are talking to somebody who is functioning with like probably like 13% of their brain power right now. So if I just sound like a toddler that like can't, doesn't even understand the object permanence, that's because I, I'm in that headspace right now. <laughs> okay, let's try this out. Upgrade boomerang quality. Okay, it seems random then, because that's a massive change. 
Wow. That's big for us. As soon as I said grapple refresh on kill item, gotcha. <laughs> Same. Seeing this right now, a pretty nice upgrade I agree before he can even get shielded I think he dies from burn oh unless shield nullify burn never mind I realize that faster reload speed baby the idea is uh, don't ever stop firing the weapon Sir, perish. There we go. All right, Iris. How are you feeling about a boomerang right now? Rake? I don't know. Does she count as a turret? Does it? The, the, I don't even know if she does. It, it's probably probably going to do this. Not enough power cells. No. It's all right. Superbot. Apparently. I don't know if it was an April Fool's joke. I don't think it was. We're going to be able to play a Superbot at some point. That's the new, like, class that's going to be coming in. And he, he doesn't... He can't use weapons. He, like, eats weapons. Again, that was posted on April's 1st, so it could just be an April Fool's joke. But, you know, here's hoping. downside this thing has like no range so i just kind of gotta be up on iris's face i guess that's not really a downside it doesn't really matter too much shakes enemies weapons yeah i'm excited for that they posted it like on april fools though that's why i was like is this real <laughs> that is some premium cookage only I had like a much better build for it. Yeah, this build, I don't think it was even like really that that crazy. We missed out on like so many like things. Like this was just a build that was kind of all over the place. And that was just absurd. I know, I watched the video and everything. I did it on April Fools, so I was like, okay. Thanks for making it to the end of the video, I appreciate it a lot. If you wouldn't mind, please consider leaving a like and comment as that helps the channel out a lot. If you ever want to hang out live, my Twitch is in the description below. I hope you all have an awesome day, thanks for checking out the run. I'm Hatterax, signing off. Peace.
But yeah, there we go.